New at six, buying organic or even growing your own vegetables has become really popular. In tonight's On the Road, anchor Lisa Jones introduces us to a Beggs couple taking organic to a whole new level. Traditional gardening really pays off when the vegetables are harvested. It can sometimes make you forget just how hard you worked for your bounty. But there's a small farm in Beggs that's ahead of agriculture trends and has gotten the attention of the United States government and several others. Bob and Debbie Ryder grew up working in their family's garden. They've always had one of their own, too, here in Beggs on their 40 acres. Ten years ago, their youngest son came home from high school excited about a new way to farm called aquaponics. That day, Bob Ryder made his son a deal. If you'll put this greenhouse up and you'll work it and you'll bring me a tomato in January and uh, it tastes just like I took it down the garden, I said, I'm in. Thousands of tomatoes and dozens of other kinds of vegetables later, the writers say aquaponics is the future for farming and a lot less work. There's no weeds, there's no rototilling, everything is right here, so there's no bending over. Here's how aquaponics farming works. In this temp-controlled greenhouse, the writers put koi, tilapia, and goldfish into rainwater they collect. It's the fish urine that we're after. Uh, the solids we want to pump out. We don't want that in our system. There's no dirt. These are chunks of expanded clay that can be used over and over. Move the rocks back, plant the seeds, and you're done. They collect bacteria, and when combined with the water and fish urine, the perfect kind of nitrates that plants love is created. These beds are full of water, this fish water, so these plants are sitting in pure fertilizer, organic fertilizer, just like Mother Nature intended it outside. Each greenhouse the writers sell and put up becomes its own ecosystem, no chemicals of any kind, completely organic. Everything grows four times faster than in a traditional garden. Earthworms clean the beds and ladybugs handle any bad insects. And they work together and they take care of all the bad bugs in here. So Amazon sells this 1500 every month. The riders experiment with all kinds of plants. So far, there's very little they can't grow through aquaponics. They teach classes and do tours to educate anyone who wants to learn more, including the USDA, local doctors interested in eating healthy, and local school children. In the wintertime, when people are starting to lose their gardens, you know, and the frost comes in, we're ramping up in here. The riders sell their vegetables and even deliver them. You can check out their Facebook page for what's available. Lisa Jones, Two Works For You. Such a creative idea, and I love that the family is keeping it all together.